Thanks for watching with us. This morning we bring you an exclusive NBC 26 investigation. We look at how a one-time police chief handled domestic violence cases. This is the outside investigation and it states the chief did not follow the law. John Erickson digs deeper. It started, records say, when she was struck in the face, fell down. A responding officer to that scene was Luxembourg Police Chief John Massart. An investigation says the suspect, the boyfriend, was not arrested. Law enforcement dropped the ball. The chief dropped the ball. An investigation says Luxembourg Assistant Chief Larry Hurley filed a complaint against Chief Massart. He had a pattern. I had noticed that there's a pattern of not doing reports. After Hurley's complaint, an assistant chief from a separate department was called in to run an investigation into Chief Massart. The final report into Massart includes many words, including these three. Failure, violation, misconduct. The investigation says Massart did not follow state law in how he handled two similar domestic violence cases. Records say both involved women being hit in the face. We looked up what state law says about when police are called to a domestic violence situation. If one person hits another, except for limited circumstances, police are supposed to make an arrest. Or, at a minimum, immediately following their investigation, police are supposed to send a report to the prosecutor. The investigation, though, says Massart did not make arrests and says the two cases from July of 2016 and April of 2017 didn't get handed over to the prosecutor until October of 2017. We let women down. That can't happen. Records say the two cases in question have plenty in common. The suspect was gone by the time Massart arrived. The alleged victim later did not want to press charges because of financial concerns. Laura Gidley works for a Kewanee County anti-domestic violence agency. She wouldn't comment on this investigation, but says money issues can keep victims in dangerous situations. How am I going to afford diapers? How am I going to afford daycare? Um, these are victims' realities. They have to think about rent, food. But Hurley says that based on state law, after police get involved, it is not up to victims to decide whether or not a case moves forward. In the domestic abuse, the chief let that victim down. She reported, it takes a ton of courage for people to come forward. And then all of a sudden, that perpetrator comes back, there's no consequences. And now you call the police, and now this guy's riled up. What's going to happen the next time? The investigation says that Massart's actions fit the definition of misconduct in public office, a felony. Massart has not been charged with a crime. He resigned late last year. Ultimately, the victim pays the price. Does the system fail them? Massart declined repeated requests for comment, only saying that he has his opinion and the village has theirs. The village president declined to comment, saying he hasn't seen the investigation into Massart. And the report says Massart told the investigator that as far as the timing of sending the two cases to the prosecutor, he didn't have a good excuse. They were on his list of things to do and fell through the cracks. We asked the county prosecutor whether Massart is under investigation. He says he is not aware of any investigations into the former chief. The village attorney says no further action was necessary on the village's part after Massart resigned.